Welcome to another episode of What Are You Reading? What Are You Writing? I hope that you have been following this series. And if you haven't, go back and check out some of the others because there's so many cool books discussed. I am Karen E. Osborne. I am author of the book, uh, Getting It Right, uh, which is a women's fiction suspense novel and the upcoming women's fiction, suspense, murder mystery, Tangled Lies, which comes out on July 22nd. I am with a wonderful fellow author. And let me just introduce you to her and then she will speak for herself. Her name is Linda Rosen and she is the author of Disharmony of Silence, which she's gonna tell us about. One reviewer described this novel as Rosen paints a vivid picture of a family torn apart that shows us what true family means. I love family sagas. She also has a book coming out on March 25th, Sisters of the Vine. Notice the vines behind her. <laughs> and she'll tell us a little bit about that in a few minutes. So welcome, welcome, Linda. Hello, I'm still so glad to be here, really. I am thrilled to be here with you. And I, if I'm right, you are a, your book coming out is also by Black Rose. Black yes, Rose Writing. You both have, so yeah. we are sister Black Rose authors. Yes, we are. Black Rose Writing, yeah. Different yeah. from my publisher from my first novel. Um, and so I'm really excited about this. And what a great community. Really oh, it is. Wonderful well, community. The whole writing community, I, I was blown away with how wonderful the writing community is. True, very, very giving, supportive. Yeah. Before we talk about writing, let us talk about reading. So what have you read recently that you would like to share with our audience? I knew you were gonna ask this question because I've heard other interviews and I have to tell you right now, I'm really not allowed to talk about what I'm reading and I'll tell you why. <laughs> I am on a fabulous committee. I'm an initial reader for the Great Group Reads Committee, which is part of the Women's National Book Association. So starting in February, publishers submit their novels and memoirs to us, books that are perfect for book clubs. And we read through July. We get over 200 submissions. We narrow it down to 20. So when I'm reading, I'm not allowed to say what I'm reading, but it, other than that, I will tell you one of the books before I got into this whole slew here, <laughs> and they keep coming either on my computer or in the mailbox or at the door. It's wonderful. Um, I recently finished Boop and Eve's Road Trip by Mary Helen Sheriff. Now, Mary is also a 2020 debut as I am. Mm -hmm. And that's been a wonderful community of writers. And that was a, a lot of fun, that book. She had a great voice, the grandmother's voice. I love grandmother and granddaughter stories. Mm -hmm. And she has a wonderful voice. And at the beginning, I just couldn't, I, like she annoyed me. And then I fell in love with Grandma Boop. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's really with her humor and her wit, she really goes into some deep stuff in that book. And so for your listeners who love to read, I would suggest going on the WNBA-Books website. Now that's books, not basketball, WNBA. <laughs> and look for great group reads and you will get lists of titles that go back to 2007 that have made our great group reads list or go to 2020debuts.com. You'll find my book and you'll find Mary Helen Sheriffs and you'll find all these other fabulous books of authors you probably don't know about because they have all were all debuts. Wow, that is fabulous. How did you get involved with them? The 2020 yeah. debuts? No, that's, no, not the debuts, it's being a reader. Oh, okay. <laughs> I joined, now I'm going to call it WNBA. It's just easier, but please, everybody know I'm talking books, not basketball. <laughs> um, I joined probably around 2012, 2013. Somebody, I was at, interesting because I was on like a critique group online and somebody 
mentioned to me that I should join WMBA. They had a New York City chapter. So I did. And I got roped into it. A friend of mine was the coordinator of this and asked me if I'd like to be a reader. And I, I just love, love doing it. Yeah. So W and now that I'm in Florida half the year, I started a chapter of WMBA down here. We have chapters across the United States. That is wonderful. And Thanks. you're in New York, if I'm right, aren't you? No, I'm in Florida. Oh, I didn't realize you're a neighbor. Oh, okay. yeah. Yes, we, we both have the Bronx in common, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. I was born there. That's where it's in I my was. first novel. <laughs> yes. In my novel. <laughs> I was born in the Bronx as well. And it is also in my first novel, <laughs> including the house that I grew up in. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and, and then we moved to Florida. Um, so I'm so glad I, I will myself try and join the Florida chapter. Yes. Yes. It's like a good thing That's to right. do. Yeah. All right. So um, tell us a little bit about your, your debut novel that came out last year. Okay. Well, it's set, it's a dual timeline book that goes between early 20th century and early 21st. Mm -hmm. So if there's a clandestine love affair that takes place in early 20th century, the 1920s, and it it evolves into a family secret held for 85 years. And when Carolyn, my protagonist, discovers the secret and she is desperate for family, she's determined to reveal it against adamant advice. Mm. It could bring her everything she wants or it could ruin other people's lives. It all depends on how she handles it. Wow, that sounds like a wonderful book. It sounds amazing. I'm writing a book now that takes place in the early 1920s. Um, Barry, that was such an incredible era. Um, well, I there's something about, I don't know why, but I don't really like writing in the present time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the disharmony of silence takes place in the early 20s and also 2010, because that's when I started writing it and it took me 10 years. But like the second book is also in the 60s and 70s and the my work in progress is in the 60s and 70s. I don't write historical fiction, though I do try to set it historically and bring in, you know, that period of time with everything that I'm writing in the story. Yeah. So tell, so the first novel took you 10 years. I totally can relate to that. Can you tell us a little bit about your writing journey? Yeah. Um, I never really honestly thought I would be a novelist. It was something that it was like a dream. Mm -hmm. People always have their dreams. I was always an, a reader, an avid reader, and I would read these wonderful books and say, oh gosh, wouldn't it be fabulous to write a book and have a book signing and go to, I've always been in book clubs, you know, go to book clubs and talk about it. As I was nearing my 60th birthday, I'm giving away a lot here. <laughs> As I was nearing the birthday, it was like I just needed something new in my creative life. I wanted to do something. I had written professional articles. I'm a fitness professional. So I used to write for a, for a magazine and for websites, newspaper article, but I just wanted something new. And I found a writer's workshop in a local adult school. And I took the class and I haven't stopped. It's got the bug. <laughs> yeah, I just... I loved it. I heard you on one of your other interviews mention Gotham. Mm -hmm. I took some courses with Gotham Writers Workshop actually in person, and that was the best. Um, yeah, so I hadn't stopped. Yeah, we both came to it late. I mean, I wanted to be a writer since I was 12 years old, but my novel came out when I was 69. So yeah. And it's yeah. never, you're never too old for dreams to come true. Just Absolutely. <laughs> Keep going for it. <laughs> well, I thank you so much, Linda, for joining us. If our um, listeners, viewers wanted to be in touch with you, what would be the best way for them to reach out to you? Please go to my website, 
www.linda-rosen.com. There's a link to an email. There's a link to my newsletter, which I call Linda's Tea Room. And I, I'm one of these who sends it out infrequently. <laughs> um, but yeah, on my website, linda-rosen.com. And I would love it. Thank you, guys. And so, and if you have any questions for me, you know that you can find me at www.karenesborn because there is a science fiction writer out there with my name. But if you put the E in there, you will find me. <laughs> and I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm also on YouTube and I'm also on my Facebook author page. So you can find me in any of those places. Thanks so much for being with us. And thank you, Linda, for joining well, thank us. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.